What's going on guys? And first let me apologize for this cut rate photography camera recording setup I got going here. It's late at night and I got work in a few hours and so I had to just get on here and record my thoughts and just let you guys know my thoughts on this. The Tigers went out and signed Justin Upton to a six year $125 million deal. Initial thoughts. I'm sitting here laying on my bed and a good friend calls me. He's like, you bastards. You guys just signed Justin Upton. He's an Angels fan, and they got no one in their outfield. The Tigers, current situation. You looked at their offseason. Avila had done a great job. Went out, got K-Rod. Went out, got Mark Lowe. Went out, got Justin Wilson. So he revamps the bullpen. And then he got Cameron Maven for practically a bag of balls, who, you know, is a sneaky good trade. Because he's gonna, uh, you know, be a great, a great platoon with uh, Ghost in center field. Now they had a glaring hole. Were they gonna bring back Cespedes? Because as it sat right now, your outfield would have been Anthony Ghost, Cameron Maben, JD Martinez. Sorry, that's not a very good outfield. I wrote on BaseballCentral.com, article will be posted below. This week, the Tigers' five biggest questions coming into the 2016 season. And left field was one of them. Because you just you can't have someone like Anthony Ghost who hit a buck 92 against left-handers last year. Cameron Mabin hit 237 against left-handers last year. Ghost was a negative defender in center field. Mabin had his second, I think, his worst defensive season of all time last year based on defensive run saved, even though he is a good outfielder. I think that was just an anomaly of blip. He is a good outfielder. But nonetheless, you got guys that don't hit lefties. You got guys who, who Cameron Mabin hits, I think he hit 267, got on base at a 320-some six clip, hit 13 home runs, and these are career highs. Anthony Ghost can't get on base to save his life. His on base percentage is terrible. He ain't going to get you any kind of power. And, you know, for someone that's got speed, don't even steal that many bases. So these are two guys that if you legitimately put them out there as everyday options, you're left and center fielder. You got, it's going to be honestly one of the two, because here's the thing, since both these guys have such fatal flaws against lefties, and they weren't, you give them too many at-bats, they're going to sink, not only is center field going to be bad, left field's going to be bad. So you know what you do now? Now you got a platoon out in center, and you grab Justin Upton, someone that whose power, it does not matter the park size, this man has hit bombs at chase. This man has hit bombs at Turner Field where the ball does not fly. And this man went out to Petco and he still hit 20 plus home runs. This is a guy who you know every year you're going to get at least 270. You're going to get at least a 340 to a 360 on base at an 800 OPS. Now, I'm usually opposed to long term contracts. I talk crap about the Mickey contract. You can go back and look at my videos. I talk crap about the Mickey contract. I didn't want them to re-sign Victor Martinez because I thought that would be a terrible deal. And I was for the Verlander contract, so I ain't going to lie about that one. But this contract I have no problem with because he is 28. He fills a valuable position that you needed filled. He brings right-handed power. Now, this move, though, the only, I guess it would be a detractor, is the Tigers lineup is very right-handed power. Now, Victor Martinez, that 30 home run season was a fluke. He's never going to hit 32 home runs ever again. Just get that out of your head. JD, right-handed power bat. Miggy Cabrera, right-handed power bat. Victor's a switch. So, Justin Upton's a right-handed power bat. So, you know, it just... It is very right-handed dominant, and they don't have many options from the left side. You know, Andrew Romine's a switch. Victor Martinez is a switch. So they don't have many options from the left side. Fine, whatever, you'll live with that. But, Al Avila, what an offseason. One cannot stress enough how good of an offseason Al Avila's had. Whether it's been fixing the bullpen, whether it's been adding Cameron Mabin, whether it's been signing Jordan Zimmerman. And Zimmerman was a nice sign because you have so many inconsistencies in the rotation, especially towards the back end. You know, with Pelfrey, which is one of his 
were only bad signings. And, you know, Daniel Norris being very young, and you still got so much youth in Michael Fulmer and Daniel uh, and, and Matt Boyd and Kyle Ryan and Buck Farmer. I mean, you got so much youth towards the back end. You slot Zimmerman in there, and I mean, it's just solidification, you know, and Sanchez being in and out and hurt. So, Justin Upton just tops off an outstanding offseason by Vila. He went and took a squad that was 74 wins. Something of Dombrowski's made splashes in the past. I mean, he's Prince Fielder and Victor Martinez and Magler Donez and Pudge Rodriguez and Carlos Guillen. And, you know, so I, you can't say he doesn't, does, didn't do a good job when it came to signing big name free agents. But, he always left open that one glaring hole, or multiple holes in this point, which was always the bullpen. And Avila comes in and goes, look, we have a core. We have a team we know we could win with. We got Cabrera. We got Victor Martinez. We got J.D. Martinez. You know, we got some pitching now. We fixed the bullpen. I'm not going to sit here and watch the White Sox continuously get better and try to jump us. Or the Twins with their deep farm system continuously get younger and get better and finish above us. And Cleveland with their outstanding, you know, pitching staff and, you know, their farm system that's up and coming get better and jump us. I don't want to finish fifth this year. So what did I do? I go out. I sign top free agent pitcher, I go out and get Justin Upton to replace you on his Cespedes. And I honestly prefer Upton over Cespedes. Because let me tell you something. Cespedes' year last year was a fluke. You take his numbers away from the Mets, those 18 home runs, and look at his numbers with the Tigers. I mean, he had a good on base. You know, he's a, almost a league average on base guy, and he was hitting 290-something. But, I mean, he had 18 home runs. He had, uh, he had went on a one hot streak to give him the numbers he had. You look at his numbers before that, you know, 21, 26 home runs, you know, 260 average, a 314 on base. So, I mean, he kind of had like a flukish little hot streak to propel his numbers to be where they're at to make him command the money that he is. Justin Upton, I mean, he's consistent. I mean, the average has fallen down, and he strikes out, and he's a very streaky hitter. You're going to have to get used to that, Tigers fans. I'm not going to sit here and talk about Justin Upton like he's Ted Williams. This man does have flaws. He's very, very streaky. You know what you're going to get, though. You're going to get a 260 to a 280 average. You're going to get a guy that's going to get on a base at a 340 to a 360 clip. You're going to get a guy that's going to have a 750 to an 800 OPS. You're going to get a guy that's going to hit 20 to 25 bombs. You're going to get a guy that's like a b average to a slightly below average left fielder. But you look at that lineup, Cabrera, Victor Martinez, J.D. Martinez, Justin Upton, Cassiano showed some pop last year that more than he's shown in his entire career. Ian Kinsler. It's a nice lineup. And it's a solid defensive lineup still, too. On top of you got a team that can hold some leads now in the back end. Guys, this ain't a bad looking squad whatsoever. Are they going to win the World Series? No. But are they going to finish dead last? Hell no. This team, with the signing of Justin Upton, goes from contending for third to potentially being in first. Because he puts them over the top. He's that last piece that they needed. Avila, what an offseason by him. And even Jim Leland was on MLB Network Radio. I listened to it every day, religiously. He was on there saying that the Tigers feel they're confident in their outfield situation. And there's plenty of quiet. And he goes out and he signs Justin Upton. And hats off to you, Al Avila. Because he took a squad that I thought was going to be terrible this upcoming year. Even based on getting Jordan Zimmerman. And he went and he did an absolutely outstanding job. Filling the holes in the bullpen. Getting a quality left fielder. You're so set on the corners for uh, J.D. Who's an above average outfielder. Rocket of an arm. Justin Upton. Now you got Ghost and Mabin in center. Both guys with some speed. You can steal you some bases, play you some defense. You know, you got Iggy and Kinsler up the middle still. And, you know, Cassianos is an abomination at third with the glove. But, you know, he's showing some pop. And then you got to have Miggy healthy for a whole season. You know, hopefully we can get Victor Martinez to hit 300 and get on base at a 350 clip. And, 
you know, maybe slug 440, that'd be nice. Maybe hit 15 bombs, that'd be good enough. You know, if JD can come out and hit 280 and hit 25 and drive in 90, that'd be good enough. And if McCann can hit you 260 and get on base at even a 315, 320 clip and post an OPS of maybe 720, 715, I'd be happy with that. So, I mean, this is a much improved club. And I preferred Upton over Cespedes anyways to begin with. Because I like Cespedes. I like what he liked. You know, I liked what he brought defensively more than Justin Upton did. But honestly, what he did with the Mets to make his numbers look as sexy as they did, looking based on his last four years with between the A's, Boston, and the Tigers, it was a fluke little run to propel his numbers to make it look better than they actually were. And I, I preferred Upton over Cespedes anyways. So, great job, Avila. This contract... I have no problem with it. I know the length is it is what it is. But think about it. He's only 28. It's six years. He's going to be what? 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. He'll be 34. They just gave Victor Martinez four years at 36. Victor Martinez at 35 hit 32 home runs, a career high. So Justin Upton, you know what you get out of him. He's streaky. He strikes out a lot. But you know at the end of the year, you're going to have... 270, 25, 80, 85, 750, 780 OPS. Average to slightly below average left fielder. But you know something? When you start seeing those bombs that Upton hits, that power plays, folks. He's got light tower power, and he's got plenty of it. And he is one of my... And just to bring a little bit of bias into this, I do love Justin Upton. He has been secretly one of my favorite players in baseball for the last five years. I love Justin Upton. And now to see that boy get to be in, on the Tigers, seeing him crushing bombs, it's going to be great. So Tigers signed Justin Upton six years, $125 million. Watch out, folks. The Tigers are back.